see me? Yes. Roger, do come in. Oh, what a lovely day, isn't it, Mr. Smith? Roger, thank you for coming. Won't you sit down? Oh, I would rather stand if that's okay. As you wish. Now, I've summoned you here today to have a meeting. Oh, a meeting? I hope it's nothing too ominous. Yes. <clears throat> well, to begin, and I wish you would sit down. I must stress, at the yes. outset of this meeting, which has nothing to do with your work performance, which is always excellent. You fit in well with your co-workers. Your attire is neat and tidy. All these things are what we look for in employees in Smith, 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 Kowalowitz. Well, that's good to hear. Roger, I have to be frank with you. Frank? This cannot go on. It can't? No, it's absolutely unacceptable. Unacceptable? It's the third time this week. I'm sorry? Well, good to hear, Roger. But I'm afraid sorry just isn't enough. It, it isn't? Words are just words, Roger. Without actions to back them up, they might as well be mumbo-jumbo. Don't you agree? Yes, completely. So, what are you going to do about it? It won't happen again. What well, won't? It? Roger, do you know what I was talking about? No, sorry. No, I don't. For sake, Roger. What time do you go to work? Nine? I beg to differ. You, you do? And so does a line manager. Nine o'clock is the time you're supposed to start work. Correct me if I'm wrong. I will. I beg your pardon? I will correct you if you're wrong. Fine. Let's just continue with what I was saying. Your line manager tells me that instead of arriving work at 9 a.m. sharp, sometimes you want to eat at 9, sometimes 9.30, and there's this occasion where you arrive at 11. Really? And do you remember what you told your line manager? I don't remember. Well, I'll refresh your memory. Let's take a look. You say that you had taken a second job as a dog walker in the mornings, and one of the dogs had been kidnapped and you are forced to pay a ransom for it. Oh yes! Terrible day! Poor Flopsy was in shock by the time I got him back. I see. Well, that's all sorted out then. Now, if this had been an isolated incident, Raja, we wouldn't have thought a thing of it. But, sadly, it isn't. Not in the slightest, which makes your story far less credible and far more incredible if you don't mind me saying so. I, I can produce a photo of Flopsy if you want. I can send it later in the day. What sort of dog? Is this Flipsy? Um, a mongrel type, I think. You think? So you want to produce a photo of a mongrel sort of dog? To prove your story? Yes! I hope you do realize that even at this very minute, I'm able to produce a photo of a mongrel sort of dog. Mrs. Smith! You don't mean that you are involved in the patnapping of Flopsy? No! I was merely trying to prove a point! <sighs> oh. So, tell me, Roger, what does a ransom go for nowadays? $500,000. So you're telling me that you, as an office worker, who has to take on a second job as a dog worker, was able to pay the ransom fee of $500,000? Insurance! You can't get by without pet insurance nowadays. It's just fundamental. Fine. Let's just ignore that one. I don't see us making any headways. Well, let's see. Oh, 
There's one. You arrived at work at 10.15 a.m., not 9. And the excuse you gave us. A giant flock of bunnies running past the door of your house prevented you leaving the property on time. Perfectly true. The correct collective noun of rabbits is a fluffle. But I wrote flock instead because- I'm going to be honest here, Russia. And tell you that I seriously doubt that. But it is in a dictionary. Fine. Fine. We will check it. Let's look at some others. Oh, here's one. Your dog ate your car keys and you had to take him to the vet to have them removed from his... Ugh, I don't even know how to pronounce that. The vet bill cost me a pretty penny. Not to mention a sleepless night when Billy's stomach kept on setting the car alarm off and it churned. Your explanations sound like they are something out of the Gerald Darrow book. I wouldn't know about that. Well, we have the less bizarre ones. Your alarm didn't go off, your car broke down, you were mocked by a man in the dress who took your travel card and you missed the bus. No, no, no. I take that back. Your dog died. Was this before or after he ate the car keys? Uh, after. The surgery didn't go so well. The, the vet missed the immobilizer. I see. And the list goes on. You overslept. You took a woman home with you, who you now believe to be a prostitute, who left you tied naked to a bed while she absconded with all your worldly belongings. I wouldn't even admit to that if I were you. You had food poisoning from two weeks old Chinese food left in your fridge. Oh, here's a good one. Your fashion teller advised you to come to work half an hour late, so you wouldn't die. Maybe if she told you not to eat the two weeks old Chinese food, it would have worked in your favor. That was a very dark time for me. Roger, just stop it. Stop giving me reasons that are complete and utter bullshit. Do you see where I'm going with this? No, no, I don't. Raja, this has to stop. The excuses for being late, each more bizarre than the next. It can't go on, or you will no longer have a job. Am I clear? But there are no excuses, they're all true! Nonsense! No one in this world has such a bizarre set of things happen to them. The world is simple. You wake up, you go to work, and then you go home. It may be boring compared to your rampant flocks of rabbits, shemale muggers, or your willing prostitutes. But Raja, this is the world we live in. It's time for you to come back to reality and join the rest of humanity. Yes, yes, I understand. <sighs> I must therefore inform you that we are going to have a full investigation and check each and every one of the allegations. And if single one of them proved to be false, you will be dismissed. <laughs> it's as simple as it is. I'm also issuing you a warning letter. If you're late again in the next six months, you will be fired. Am I clear? I said they're all true. Be that as it may, they cannot continue. Y yes. You may go. Thank, thank you. About Flipsy the dog? Double the rinse in this time.